Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking to you guys about my elf haul. I have all of these goodies. Look at this. All of this is elf products. I purchased these things on my own and right now I'm wearing all elf. Everything that you see in this box I used on my face. I've been really excited to do this. I really can't explain in words um, how incredibly amazing e.l.f. has been with their products lately. I think that they did such a good job with the packaging. Um, the products have been incredible. You all know I ranted in my, if you look below, I can link it, my highlight review for e.l.f. And I wasn't too impressed with a product that I had from theirs. But I did tell you I did like some stuff from their, their line. I did like their brushes and I did like their, um, their makeup wipes and their um, eyelashes, which I still continue to use every day. But I pretty much threw out or gave away mostly everything else that I've gotten. But when I tell you that I was so excited to get these things, that <laughs> they're really, really amping it up with this because, yeah, like, this stuff is really cool, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it and let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about brushes. And let's get all the brushes together. I'm going to show you guys what brushes I got. And this all started because of brushes, actually. Uh, the brushes that I wanted to buy from Sigma, which I believe I did mention in my Sigma review for the, the Sigma haul, that I couldn't find certain brushes that I was really interested in. So I decided to go on the e.l.f. website, the eyes, lips, and face website. They have really, really affordable brushes for the quality that you get. And um, I know that they used to be like $3 for the professional line, but this was actually $6. So... Um, each brush was $6, and I think that the reason for that was because they are a lot better in quality. I've had some else products like these, this small stippling brush, in the past, and, um, it would, like, come out and shed, and it, it worked for a really long time, but I'd have to always replace it. These seem to be a little bit stronger. Um, of course, I had to pick up more of my makeup remover wipe cloths, these. These are amazing. They come with 20 pre-moist cloths. They take, up, take off all your makeup, and they're infused with aloe vera extract for deep hydration and moisture, and they're great for on-the-go travel, and believe me, that is very true, because when I'm on the go and I'm traveling, these are my go-to wipes. And I know, like, people are like, why don't you use Neutrogena or clean and clear or whatever other brands there are out there. I cannot use any of their wipes. It just irritates my skin. My skin's so sensitive and I get bumps and you would think like a higher end line like that, you know, would work a little bit better than these, but these are like magic. I swear by these. I love, I love these. Um, as far as brushes go, I got the Flawless Face Brush and um, this is it right here. It's like flat on both sides. Um, I was a little nervous picking this up because I thought it was going to be big and bulky and I was like, what am I going to do with this? You know, I don't really need a big brush like that. I have so many fluffy powder brushes, but if you kind of look at them, the brushes are not evenly, um, cut, which is pretty cool. And I think I could use this for, like, just patting down, like, powder. Like, setting powder this would be really good for. Yeah. I'm down with the powder. Next brush I have is the Ultimate Blending Brush. Build coverage with powder, liquid, or mousse foundation bronzer. It's just an all-purpose brush. Um, I don't even care what it says on here because it really doesn't matter. This brush is just an all-purpose brush because I could use this for, like, my BB creams, on-the-go foundations, um, pretty much anything. Uh, I could blend this in, blend this out, blend in blush. It's like a multi-use brush, you know, you can't go wrong with that. I have the self Selfie Ready Foundation Brush. And this brush is pretty good. It's supposed to do pretty much everything else the other brushes do. Mimics the shape of the fingers to contour and blend around the angles of your face. And with a seamless application, it's a little bit smaller than the blending brush that I showed you guys. But it would pretty much get like smaller areas 
probably better for blush than that one because that's a little bit big. This is great. I just think that the quality on these brushes, like they feel so amazing. Yeah. I love their brushes. And I paid six dollars. Six dollars for this brush. They're not too big. They're very light. They're not heavy. This makeup is for when I travel because I always get so nervous that when I'm traveling someone's gonna steal my bag with all my makeup in it that I've invested in and just take this one because then I could always replace it. It's not as expensive. This is perfect if you travel a lot. Like this is your holy grail. If you travel a lot you're gonna love this stuff, okay? Next my very exciting sculpting face brush. This is the brush I wanted to get from uh, Sigma, but it was like $26. The shape is like curved like this, which gives a really good, you know, really gets in there. And I like that it packs on a lot of color, okay? The color is amazing with this. Definitely go for this brush because I'm... Probably going to say this is my favorite brush right now. Another really cool brush that I got and I'm really loving. So far, all the brushes that I bought I really, really love, which is great. And um, I got this one, the eye Eyebrow Duo Brush. And this brush is double-sided. It has the little spoolie here. And it has a little angled corner for you to apply your... Um, eyebrow gel or whatever powder that you use and I really like how neat it is like it's nicely shaped so you can really brush in here and get get in there and it has this side and I really have to say I love the application with this brush I actually love it more than the brush I was using I paid $20 for my brush from Tarte this one I, I've been using this like all the time and this brush is just it has like a better um, angle or something like that it's smoother it just glides on so much better it's so much easier to use so I I'm probably gonna end up picking up another one of these eyelash and brow brush which I use them all the time anyway um, I picked up like two of these these are great for like when you get out the shower when you finish washing your face and you just want to brush your eyebrows I keep them in my bathroom I keep them in my purse I keep them in in my by my bed like everywhere like I brush my brows like I brush my hair okay another thing that I got that um is irrelevant but it's cool I got the slant tweezer and uh I didn't really need a tweezer but I think it was like a dollar a dollar so for a dollar yeah I could use it you can't go wrong with more tweezers, you just really can't. The next thing that I got was this um, eyeliner. And, um, let me take it out of the packaging. It's an expert liquid liner. This is from the professional line. And it has a very thin brush, like this. And it gets like really precise line, like that. Okay, and I like it. It's nice and dark. This one's in jet black. Um, I always get and I always pick up a bunch of these. These are the natural lashes. I'm crazy about these. I've been using these for a couple years now and I have them on now. And they're very natural. They don't look um, very intense. Great product. Pick yourself up some of those. Save yourself like hundreds of dollars because eyelashes are very expensive. The next thing I picked up was this Clear Brow Lash and Mascara. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to open it for the first time. I haven't even applied it. And um, it's double-sided. It's in clear. And um, I'm not really sure which side is for the eyelash and which side is... Oh, okay. It says it on here. So it says here eyelash on the bottom and then it says here brow. But I'll probably just use them both for my brow. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same formula. I don't see myself um, using it on my eyelashes. It's clear. So it comes out. It's kind of chunky. I don't know what's up with that. But I'm going to apply a little bit here. And it's supposed to like lock and seal. It's supposed to lock and seal your eyebrows. Kind of, yeah. It looks a little bit better. It looks a little shinier. Um, another thing that I picked up was this eye refresh. It's infused with ro pomegranate, rosemary, green tea, cucumber, and grape to hydrate and nourish the skin. It has no smell, which is 
good and bad. Like, it's not fresh or anything like that, but it feels really cooling because it has, like, a nice cooling ball in here. So it feels amazing, like, on your eyes. I've been using this for a while now, and I feel like I do see a difference. Next is the lip exfoliator. Let me just open this up. And I had this before, and I really do love it. But my only issue elf with this is that every time that I get it, and I'm so, like, upset and disappointed about it because I actually really love this. And I feel like it really works really well. To me, it works wonders. Like, it really exfoliates your lips. And I've had it. This is my second one. And every time that I get it, it's broken. But it has, like, little scrubs, and you just kind of just massage it into your lips. Like, in a shape of a, a lipstick, so it's convenient. You don't get your hands all messy. So another thing that I bought was the Illuminating Eye Cream. And I'm excited to use this because it says that it's... It's infused with, I, I can never say, jojoba, there we go, jojoba, vitamin E, and cucumber to soothe and protect the, del the delicate skin area around the eye. It's also rich in antioxidant shea butter and green tea. This is amazing. I feel like they made this for me. So, um, I'm pretty excited about this, and I'm going to try it out because right now I'm using long cone, and I'm running out of it, and I will be out of it very soon. So, I am going to really want to use... Something a little bit more affordable, this was only $10. My cream that I normally use for dark circles is like $65. So this will be my new best friend if it really does work. So I mean, my, my circles are not that bad. I'm sure this is going to work. Why not? I just need something for my eyes um, that's going to help hydrate them and keep them from creasing. So let me just open it up. This is the little case that it comes in, this nice little cute jar. It's kind of big. You know, it's a big jar, and let's see. I mean, it doesn't have a smell, but this is what it looks like. It comes with quite a bit in here, but it looks like half of it's missing for some reason. I don't know if it's just the way that it's positioned and it's been leaning or something, but hopefully that's not the case. Now onto the face stuff. Now, um, let me just make a statement here with this uh, foundation. I bought the foundation serum in the color... Uh, medium to dark and I'm really glad I actually bought it to kind of darken up my found my lighter foundations that I have and I'm really glad I actually got this one because it would have been really light if I had gotten a medium because this isn't that dark so um let me just uh clarify this because I did hear a lot of reviews about this being a foundation this is a foundation serum and basically it's just like it's very light see it's not a foundation. You read it on the website, it tells you that this is really good to use alone like because it does have a tint of color in it. You can use it alone for just like a nice, very, 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 very natural finish. Or you can use it underneath the Flawless Foundation or any of their foundation products. Or even the foundation that you're currently using right now. So, this is not a foundation. This is just something to help give you a little boost of... A finish like a nicer finish for your foundation I bought a couple foundations because I couldn't pick and I heard mixed reviews about them I got the elf flawless finish foundation which I'm wearing right now I love this this is actually surprisingly such a good foundation I have to say like for something that is so small and light I got this in caramel all the, the foundations I bought in the same color caramel I played it safe the only thing that I have that I have to say about this foundation that I'm not too crazy about is that it is very greasy or oily, so it doesn't sit very well on your skin. You have to definitely set it with a powder. But as far as the coverage goes, like I have it on now, I feel like it does a really good job with coverage and keeping your makeup nice and flawless. It really does what it says. It is a flawless foundation. Another one that's pretty good that I saw on the site was the Acne Fighting Foundation. It has a thicker consistency. It's in caramel as well. And um, honestly, like, I bought this foundation because there's times when I am breaking out and I, I know that you ladies all have the same problem. Like, you just feel so guilty to put makeup on top of your pimples. And then, so... I absolutely hate this stick foundation. It's um, infused with, it's an anti-aging 
formula that has shea, vitamin E, cocoa, grape, avocado, macadamia, and aloe. To me, those are all amazing ingredients. Actually, ugh, put them in my hair, you know what I'm saying? But, girl, bye. This stuff is terrible, okay? I put this all over my face, and it just did not blend well. Like, when you apply it, it looks really, really good. Like, when you apply it, it looks great. And then you blend it in, and it just looks like, ugh, horrible. Like, you would not leave your house with this on your face. It just looks smeary and messy and light and sheer, no coverage. It's just... It's horrible. It's not worth it. And I paid like $6 for this. I'm kind of disappointed, Elf. What's up with that? Um, the next thing that I got was Perfect Finish HD Powder, which kind of reminded me of like the Makeup Forever powder that they have. And it's um, like white in here. It has like a mirror. And um, underneath it, if you open it up at the bottom, it has like a little, a little pad that you can use to apply it. Um, to me, this is a very convenient um, packaging. This set my makeup so well, and I really do like the finish on this. So, I know there's another one on the website for, like, oilier skin. It's like a mattifying um, powder, perfecting powder. This is just the original one. Okay, next is the, the Cream Contour Palette. So, if you guys follow my channel and you saw that I did a contour and highlight review using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour and Highlight Kit, um, which I happen to have, like, right here. This is the Anastasia's Contour Kit, right? And this is exactly what it reminded me of. And the color payoff on these are so amazing. So, the packaging is really, really cool. It's like this. And it has a mirror here. There's four colors that they use to contour. And even on my skin complexion, you know, darker skin, you will see color payout. I use even this lighter brown right here to contour in here, and you can still see it. The pigments on here are so great. This is just the white, the yellow one, right? That's the yellow color. Um, and I'm going to show you on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette the yellow color. I mean, it's a little bit thicker. But really, you're not really going to see much of a difference because it's so close. And it's creamy, and I love it. Like, I need to pick myself up another one of those. I'm thinking this is going to be my new favorite product. And um, it's great for traveling again. Like, if I don't want to bring my big Anastasia $40 palette, then I can bring my $6 palette, and I won't cry if I lose my makeup or anything like that. Anyway, next, um, I got the Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And I thought this was kind of cool because it's unique. I've never heard of anything like this before. It's clear. It's like a pink pump, like a gel. It's like a little jelly, you know, and it, it sticks. It sticks on the eyes. You just put it on, and I, I used it today. And it seemed to be doing a pretty good job. Like, there's no um, fine lines underneath here. It's very smooth. So I'd say thumbs up to this. This is also a, a nice one. It's supposed to help... Um, Prevent, conceal from setting into fine lines and wearing off. By the way, I did an extensive review on all these products before I even got them. So most of the stuff I do really love because I really just kept on looking it up. Like, what's good, what's not good. I don't want to waste any more time and money. So I got this e.l.f. makeup remover pen. And I thought this was pretty neat because... And sometimes you get a little bit messed up here. And you just want to take the pen and just remove what's underneath. It gets like black on it. And people were saying you got to be careful with that because it'll get messed up. But what I do is I just wipe it off right away. And it's gone. It doesn't stay black. There's some stuff underneath here and it just, it's really convenient. <sighs> Another thing I love is this Gotta Glow Lip Tint Perfect Pink. It's supposed to help, like, just pretty much connect with your natural chemistry. Uh, it reacts with the chemistry of your lips to deliver a personalized shade of pink. So I guess with every shade of lips, it's going to be different. Um, I got two colors in the mineral, um, the pressed mineral blush. 
In the past, I did not have a lot of fun with the blushes. I didn't feel like they had a lot of payout or that they stayed on very long. Um, I picked up the two colors that were available, which was Wonderlust and Jet Setter. And they look very similar. Wonderlust is a little bit darker and Jet Setter is a little lighter. Um, I feel like Jet Setter I would use like every day and Wonderlust I would use more for like, um, I have it on right now but I'm going to reapply it because I feel like it came off. It's really pretty winter color. It doesn't really, I mean it has a little bit of shimmer in it. But I really can't see it. It looks more matte to me. I don't know what people were talking about. Moving on. So I have the Lip Lock Pencil. And it keeps gloss and lip liner from feathering, traveling, or budging with a smooth glide lip lock pencil. I like this because sometimes my lips, they are a little bit bigger. So they just smear everywhere. You know, it just wants to go wherever it wants to go. And I feel like this is better than wearing a lip liner because sometimes you can't find the color that you want and it doesn't match. So this is really cool. You just apply it. And I did that on here. And it kept it from just like moving or budging. And it actually sets it in place, which is really, really cool. All right, so I have the eyeliner shadow stick. It's dual ended. And what I like about this is that it has one side for the pencil, which you can use for, like, right here. And um, I did mention before that I do use the Lancome Listilo because my eyes water and tend to get, like, really irritated. But with this pencil, it's actually, so far, I've had it on for a few hours now, and it, and it hasn't done anything like that to it. So I think it's pretty good. Um, I definitely like it so far. It looks like this. It's like a little twist up. I actually kind of smushed it. Okay. It looks like that's like a pencil. And, uh, let me roll it back down so I don't do it again. Um, and then on the other side is like a big jumbo, um, eyeliner. And I did apply it on my eyes. But, um, I didn't use a primer so it didn't stay on. And I'm not really sure, like, if I was supposed to use a primer, but it's really supposed to be, like, a soft shimmer color anyway. Nothing crazy. It kind of came off, but you really get a good use. It's two, it's double-sided for the price of one. So even if you don't like the smudge side, you could definitely get used with the black liner. Or you could use a smudge for, like, a smoky or, like, underneath the eyes. You could do a lot with this, which is really cool. On to the setting spray. I heard that it, it smelt bad. I heard that it sprayed kind of funny. Um, I heard that it just wasn't that great. But it's mixed with aloe, green tea, um, cucumber, and vitamin A, C, and E. Okay? Those are all very good for you. And um, I did put this on. I needed a good setting spray because the ones I've been buying are really expensive. I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray, which is running out. And so I don't know why people like had bad reviews for this because it's pretty awesome. See, I'm going to spray it. I think it mists great. It has no scent at all to me. I don't smell anything. It doesn't stink. But really this stuff is great and it set my makeup pretty well. So I think I'm going to be living off of these for a while. Next, um, I only got my hands on two of these. But these are the matte lip colors. And I got them in Natural and Praline. I'm wearing praline right now. I really do love this color. It's like probably my favorite. My only complaint is that so far it literally was just like fell out of the container, which I don't really like at all. I mean, I just bought it. So it shouldn't be having issues like that. So yeah, like, I mean, I can't really complain because of the price. I paid like $3 for this, but I'm complaining because even though the quality is great, like... It would be better if it just stayed in there and didn't break off the first time. Maybe the second or third time I used it, but not like the first time. Praline is more like a like a deeper color. Where did I put it? Right here. Praline is like a deeper color right here. And um, I thought it was going to be a little bit darker on me, but I just had no idea, you know, that it was going to be like as light as it is. And it turns out like what I thought natural was going to look, praline looked like on me. So this is natural down here. Wait, can you get it? And it looks a little ashy on me, so I might have to mix the color with something else. So yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the texture's great. They're matte. 
they leave your lips like really moisturized it gives like a nice matte finish but they're not like ultra matte or very like mattifying so just be very cautious of that that's it that's pretty much everything as far as my haul goes i know there's a lot of stuff that i had to go through and i had such very little time doing it but i'm really glad i was able to get through the whole entire thing and um, let me know if you have any questions or uh, feedback on what I've reviewed. Uh, if you do, just, you know, comment below. And I'll list everything in the description box so that you guys can have an idea of everything that I used and applied on my face. So, um, yeah. This is pretty much everything. And it did stay on pretty well. For drugstore makeup and affordable makeup, it's not bad at all. My um, overall opinion on it, I think that they did pretty good. The packaging's great. ELF really stepped their game up as far as quality. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!